Hey guys, this is BenRob0329. Um, so let's say you're walking along, right? And you come across some kind of a mountain face. Now this is just an example. But you find this keyboard and LCD here. It says please enter password. Now there is no visible seam here as to what is going to happen. You know, you can, you know, you might see like a torch or something or you might see like say a torch just sitting over that but you're not gonna you know but you assume that there's something here or maybe you don't maybe it's completely hidden but so let's say you just enter a password there's a door and then it just shuts perfectly seamlessly and you're in this completely and totally hidden secret secret cave that has more behind the scenes. So, what you're going to need to build this project is some Mies blocks. Three will do. Um, and if you can't use Mies blocks, vertical Mies con will work, but it won't look as good. Um, you'll need... 12 sticky pistons, you'll need some MISCON or insulated MISCON will work too, which I recommend using insulated MISCON where you can. Um, if you don't need to and you don't want to have to spend the extra materials, that's fine too. It just helps to clean up the wiring. You'll need a single delayer. You will need some vertical MISCON. Again, it's optional, but it really helps with wiring. Uh, you'll need some stone to f make everything look seamless. And then if you want to go for the digiline route and pass or protect the door and such, you'll need a digiboard, a digiline, the digiline printer, the node breaker, a Lua controller, a digiline LCD, a locked chest or just a normal chest if you really don't care, and some pneumatic tube segments. Um, if you don't want to go for printing logs, then the printer the node breaker and the tu the tube and the lock chest are all optional. Um, outside of that, the digiboard, you can go for just the digiboard or for maybe some different kind of password protection system. But the one I'm going to show you here is just the all out digital lines. All right. And the mods I am using are Miscons. Digilines, Digiline Stuff Mod Pack. And I do have more Mies Cons installed, but you do not need that. But it might help depending on what kind of a setup you're going for. And I will put a link to all of those down in the description. Again, more Mies Cons and Digilines. They're optional. You don't need them if you don't want to do stuff that would need those like password protection is entirely optional and that is reliant on miscons and pipeworks okay so first things first obviously you want to dig out your door here and also dig back um dig two holes on either side here uh two back so that you have room to place down your four pistons like such And then you'll also want to place down two more pistons like that. And then that's all the pistons we need. So, don't need the pistons. And then place down four stone blocks on either side like that. Or two on either side, but four total. And then, if you go behind the wall here, um, this is where you're going to use normal MISCON. You place down two there, and that will connect all four of those. And then vertical miscons, like I said, it helps a lot because you can just go straight up like that. So, once again, two miscon plus vertical miscon. So now what we want to do is we want to dig a hole there and place down some mies blocks. Uh, one more will be placed down underneath, and then place down some miscon there, and then this miscon, miscons, miscon, whatever 
will connect to these pistons once they're out. Um, and I'll discuss more of that once we drop down below. Um, the digiprinter, I have that set there because there's a bug where I can't dig it because it has paper in it and I can't pull the paper out because it's a bug. Which I have to actually report that bug on the forums. Anyways. So, basically what you're going to want to do is I use insulated MISCON to connect these two together and then grab a T-junction and connect it up something like that and then some vertical miscon uh, makes that easier actually if you place down the t-junction there instead and then you can simply place down a layer and then basically what you're going to want to do is power this this back lead here so that it will always be on or off first so that these pistons will disengage first and then before the effect takes before it takes effect on the outer pistons or the the side pistons but basically it fixes a bug where it when the lua controller doesn't happen for switches but it does for lua controllers where the Lua controller will actually, when it turn, when it disengages the uh, on miscons, I don't know the activated miscons. Um, one of the pistons will stay open, so this fixes that problem, and it still works pretty fast. So that's pretty much all you need for the basic door. Um, but now I'm going to set up the digital lines version of it so you're going to need an lcd low controller a good amount of digital line and then the digit board and then i'm going to go ahead and hook up the pipework side of it as well so first things first place down your lua controller and then if you come back outside you can dig a hole there. I found placing down the LCD there makes wiring it up a lot easier than just place down the keyboard. So then change that to keyboard and that to LCD. Again, you change it for what you need. And then I'm going to cheat and use no clip to get in here and wire it and place down some wiring there and there to connect both of those. And then those are connected. Let's see if I can't get these hooked. Okay, so I cleaned up the wiring a bit and copied the code from a previous build that I did that I recorded, but the recording was in worse quality than it could have been. So basically, I'm going to run through the code port A which is the Digiline uh, port, which basically that has to be on in order for it to register Digiline stuff. I suppose it could be seen as powering like a USB. Um, if event.channel is equal to keyboard, in other words, if the keyboard, if you get a message from the keyboard and the message is password, which is the password, then port.c, which is the uh, door, is equal to false, in other words, open. Um, and then send to the LCD access granted, and then send to the printer access granted, and then um, if it wasn't equal to password, then send access denied and access denied. And then two ends to close off if and if. And then if the event dot interrupt ID which goes to the interrupt that I made down here um, is equal to close which you can see every five seconds it will send the ID close um, close the door send please enter password to the LCD so you have a nice prompt and it kind of clears the LCD and then send to the keyboard nothing because keyboards will actually act like terminal and will actually display some text if you send something to them to 
make the printer work properly and not just print out two pages and then sit there. Um, I'm going to use a node breaker and, oh, I forgot to say, a node detector. You will need a node detector. I'll probably add that as a note. And then that will actually activate that when something is on it. And then I will just kind of do that. And then come all the way over here. Make life simple. Or actually, I don't think I can do that. I think that I have to go around because I have some wires planned to go there. Okay. So then what you're going to want to do is break that block. Um, and place the chest down there. So if you are going to have a terminal here, um, one way to hook it up is to have a digital line underneath and a digital line behind and that will connect to both the keyboard and to the LCD because wiring is weird. Essentially someone enters in password on one of two keyboards, um, little controller turns off port C which causes the back to turn off which causes the back in the back input turns off which causes the which causes the main door pistons to shut which after that the side pistons pulls them apart opening it up and the digital line will the and the little controller will also send a signal to the printer to print a log, the the letter will sit on this. Um, the letter will sit on this node detector. The node detector will activate the node breaker. The node breaker will send it up through the pipes into into this locked chest. So. It works. And it works quite well, actually. And you can change the interrupt setting to, say, you know, three seconds. You know, if you want to have it shut every three seconds, you can do that too. So that is how you make a password protected, literally a password protected door um, in Miscounts. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I do know that there are probably better ways to do it, um, but I'm not a super skilled Mies counter. I just thought I'd share this knowledge with you guys. Um, this is more of a beginner's level Mies Counts tutorial that explains, you know, the basics of programming a Lua controller, using digital lines, using pistons, placing down Mies Counts and such, and I think it's good all-around tutorial for both some simple pipe works as well as some simple Mies Counts for a very practical thing. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Um, if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. Um, every little bit helps. And thanks for watching.